Uh, so let's move on to our special guest this morning, actress Roxanne Pallett. <laughs> Now, Roxanne spent three years as battered wife Jo Sugden in Emmerdale. She was nominated for Best Actress at the British Soap Awards every year uh, she was in the show. But poor old Roxanne faced the ultimate test uh, at the weekend as she took on the challenge of ITV One's Sing If You Can. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> so... What were you dipping your feet in? I didn't get a good look at that. Everything what was it? you can imagine. They asked me what my phobias and my fears were at the beginning, and I didn't realise they were going to actually put those phobias and fears into <laughs> tanks for me. Really? We had everything from maggots to fish guts to eels. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was such a laugh. I thought it was for the Teenage Cancer <laughs> Trust, so it was, it was all good. But, but it's, it's, it's a no, you don't say no to stuff, do you? Because you did, <laughs> you did Dancing on Ice. I don't take things easily. It, I literally just think if there's a challenge, do it. You might as well. Life's too short to be scared of things, and it was for a good cause. Anyway, you can talk, Mr. Patrick Swayze. What's that? <laughs> oh, the dancing thing. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you know what? Don't you come off those shows and just go, was I really in yeah. it? It's yeah. a good job there are some still pictures and a bit of video about it. <laughs> Honestly, do you, ever, do you ever look at your own stuff back now and go, was that really me? Yeah, cos my mum Sky plus it all, so it was on our <laughs> Sky Plus for, like, a year, so I did watch it back. But it's one of those things, as an actor, you've got to, you've got to leave your comfort zone, otherwise you just play the same kind of roles all the time, so you've got to really push yourself. Indeed. But, Would you ever good. go back to Emmerdale? Um, if the time was right and the storyline was right, I had a really great character, so it was, it was a, a pleasure for them to leave the door open, so never say never. And, and, you know, when the role develops, how much of a say do you have in that? Do you talk to the producers and yeah. people like that? Or, or do you just do what you're told? No, I mean, with me, I was really hands-on with the writers. They were really kind of interested in what I saw for the character. So it was, it was collaborative. It was really yeah. nice. Well, that's them, nice, yeah. isn't it? To have some sort of a control in <laughs> yeah. a crazy business. And what a voice! Are you doing mm. musicals? I hope you are. I've, I did a musical last year. I did Rock Around the Clock. And oh. I've spent, like, the last year and a half doing back-to-back theatre roles. <laughs> I've just finished a play now. So I'm, I've just been on the... Everyone keeps going, where have you been? I've been on the stage. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like but it's, it's a good grounding, I think, for an actor to kind of take yourself away from TV at certain times and well, go back to basics. sing like you do, you have to, I oh, think. Yeah, you. No, it's, that's a But you went voice. to Central, didn't you? Central did, School yeah. of Speech and Drama as well. So you yes. both have this sort of a acting training and everything else. What an insecure... It's an insecure lifestyle that you choose, in a way, isn't it? Mm. To, to sort of be on the box or to be on stage... It is, unreliable. yeah, and I'm sure you got told the same. You know, when I said I wanted to be an actress when I was small, people were, oh, well, you know, 75% of the mm. profession are out of work. There's just something about you that makes you think, well, poor them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be in the 25... You have to do that. You have to be thinking, I'm going to be the one that works, because otherwise yeah. it is insecure, and this is all you have, it's you know. It's an isolating lifestyle yeah. as well, because you spend 90% of the time on your own, whether it's for your auditions or when the rest of the world are at work doing their nine-to-five jobs, you're kind of on yeah. a different kind of yeah. time frame, aren't you? And I suppose the temptation is, if you see yourself in the papers, you're invited onto shows, you do, you know, you're doing good work, mm. money's coming in and all the rest of it, you think that you're a good person, <laughs> and if things that, if you're getting a lot of no's, you're a bad person. It's yeah. very easy to fall yeah. into it's that trap, isn't I mean, I find yeah. that you, but, but you've just got to remain completely focused and grounded, otherwise it can affect you. Yeah, mm. and you have to know that, yes, of course, you're at the mercy of other people's decisions about you, but you have to have quite a strong sense of yourself. It's called mm. vanity, isn't it? Yeah. And then your daughter comes up to you and says, oh, I want to be a singer. Yeah. yeah it'll never work, you yeah, say, Yeah, no, I like, that. I like that, because, luckily, it's a completely different business and there's deep joy in saying I'm with the band. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. We'll talk much more uh, in the next uh, couple of hours or so.